Hello, welcome to our live stream tonight. Uh, Apostle Chastain Rock, uh, Apostle L Rock, and uh, all of you. That's what makes everything gel together. All of you guys coming on. Uh, thank you for your time again, as we always say. Uh, we appreciate you guys and all of the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that God gives. We pray that uh, it's edifying you and your family. Uh, it's helping you maybe your business or whatever you set your hands to do, whatever it is. It might be just a hobby that you enjoy doing. Get God involved in your hobby. God loves great things, and he loves doing good things uh, with you. You're personal to him. You're his son or daughter. So, again, welcome. This is a, a great walk we're having this month of, of prophetic groundbreakers, uh, men and women who are, are more than willing to become better that they might help others, all right? Men and women that have already become better that are history changers, and men and women that through those changes and experiences in life, you now add value to other people. And so this is what this whole month is about uh, because we've got, you know, 11 other months after this because this <laughs> is a year of the believer. This you is know, who knows what might happen in the other 11 months. You, Exciting uh, you times just ahead don't, uh, as a believer you just in don't Jesus' know, okay? Amen. All right. So uh, uh, again, uh, thank all of you guys uh, for coming on. Uh, for being, uh, you know, just coming on and watching, viewing, uh, whatever you are, your comments, you know, sometimes you guys let us know, you know, people got this happened, that happened, I got, you know, this, that happened, this went on, I got free from this, whatever. All of the word of God will deliver you. If there's a, an area in your life that uh, is hindering you in your walk, uh, the word of God can set you free, all right? Amen. It can it can change things for you, all right? When you guys, uh, and I don't know who, Maybe this is your first time or second time or whatever time it might be coming on the broadcast. We're going to be here every night all the way through January. And, you know, weather permitting the first night of February because <laughs> yes. we missed the night because of the weather. Because okay? of the weather. <laughs> uh, not because we didn't want to be here. Uh, we were here, but uh, because of the weather. But, a little chilly. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes just yes. a little chilly. <laughs> but I want you guys to, you know, and all the things that we're giving you guys, Look at the people in Hebrews chapter 11, uh, because again, this is, uh, you know, this is a great book to help you to understand uh, where all of our heritage comes from, people that went through so many things. These are Bible uh, heroes in a sense, but they are heroes around you every day. Uh, men, women, boys and girls uh, around you every day, grandmothers and grandfathers uh, that have gone through uh, a lot of the things that we're talking about to become better. You know, so that we could be better, okay? And uh, I'm sure you have uh, men and women, grand and grandma, uh, what's it, what's it, big mama. Uh, big mama. All of you guys probably had a big mama somewhere I know, I that, uh, mama. you know, that uh, did great things or the respect that you had for big mama and, you know, and all the laughs and things. And big mama made her life better to help you to become better and, right. you know, and big daddy too and all those things. Yeah, so, I had a big daddy. Yeah, too. big daddy, yeah. <laughs> so, a lot of people around us, okay, are have became better so that we could become better, so that they could help us, okay? And so we should not waste all of that life that they uh, placed around us. We should make it grow and become better. And, and this is what all of these lessons are about, you know? We came from two different families, but almost identical in poverty, okay? <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, pretty close, that's right. <laughs> and so uh, maybe you've come from different walks of life. That's that's fine. Uh, your biological past has nothing to do with your ecclesiastical future. Amen. Okay? Thank God for that. Uh, your, your, your place in Christ Jesus has been sealed and is waiting for you to uh, constantly choose the right things in life so that you have the determined end that God wants you to have. Okay. And so these lessons are most important for all of us. You, me, life you know, changing. life changing. My wife says life, life changing. changing. Because even right? as we hear, um, the Bible says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing right. by the word of God. So when we hear ourselves, it That's builds right. our faith as yep. well, just like it builds yours. Yep. And when we hear testimonies, like you guys are lighting the screen up, you know, I see things flying already. You know, uh, all of these things add to, they add to our faith. They help us to know that, 
hey, somebody out there got it, or they got this one, or this one took this route to, to get there, or this one is believing like this, or this one asked for prayer, this one is telling us the testimony today that happened today, and you know, all, all this is it's just a mixture of faith that goes into, again, the author and the finisher of our faith, he mixes Jesus. everything together in our lives, and as the scripture said, he's working all things together for, for our good. good. Okay. It always so, comes out right. Yes. So this is a good thing uh, tonight and these other nights. And so uh, continue to, to uh, be with us through these, you know, we've got like 15, 16, 17 more nights. Uh, be with us, hang with us, invite uh, your family members, invite, you know, invite your enemies if you want keep to. keep sharing. You know, thank let, you guys yeah. for sharing yes. with other yes. people, with your yes. family, your yeah. friends. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. So, uh, so we just want everybody to be happy. And uh, in the Lord, happy not, in just, Jesus. not just not just happy, happy Jesus. because of an event, but your life it it it, it radiates the joy of the Lord. Yeah, know? the joy is yeah. what we want because you can be so, happy yeah. over things, but it's the joy of the Lord no, that gives you the strength. You That's what we want yes. exactly. Keeps you going because happiness right. depends on happenings. We've said that before, but joy depends on God, and the Amen. joy of the Lord is our strength. All right, so maybe we got some people out there tonight that are. Uh, more than willing to get better in order to help others. Maybe we got some people out there that have already become better, uh, that you, you're you changing history. Somebody in your family, changing family life, business life, uh, even your own, you know, taking new paths uh, in the Lord, uh, influences in the kingdom of God. And uh, maybe you're the person who, guess what? You look every day to add value to somebody's life. You just, you know, that's your thrill in life and whatever. Well, we're talking to all of you tonight, okay? Amen. Every last one of you, because this is the year of the believer. We want to start tonight off by carrying you to Joshua chapter 1, all right? This is the most important chapter. Uh, Joshua, oh, my wife's already got it up there, so I don't even have to turn to it over here. All right, she's already got it up here. So uh, we'll, we want you to get to Joshua chapter 1, and uh, we're going to look at uh, tonight's particular subject for all of us, all right? And it's, and it's about using the time that we have very wisely, right? All of the time that you're investing in coming on at nights. And I don't know, you know, if you're writing notes or you go back and you'll view, you know, you look at the live stream over on Vimeo or something. I don't know how you are uh, progressing, progressively adding to what we say. But I do know this, that when you get revelation knowledge or, or just uh, direct knowledge from the Word of God and the Spirit of God, it is important for you to use it, okay? Uh, because remember what Jesus said, when the Word is sown into someone's heart, mm -hmm. the enemy comes immediately to snatch it out mm -hmm. because he doesn't want you to use it right away, okay? He doesn't want you to apply it right away. He doesn't want you to share it so right it away, okay? So he comes, he will come immediately. Now, immediately doesn't mean that he's going to show up and fight you tonight. Immediately could be in a phone call. Immediately could be something on TV that you normally watch, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock. Immediately, you know, could be tomorrow when you show up on your job and things have changed and whatever. Immediately mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean at the same moment you got it. It says immediately he came. You don't get he to comes. Use it. That's, That's right. You will not get to use it. Okay. And so tonight's a whole, all of this particular lesson tonight is going to be on uh, the importance of using mm. your time mm. wisely. Okay. Wow. What are you going to say? I was thinking about what you were saying about Satan coming immediately to steal the word that's been sown in your heart. However, there's one of the, that was in one of the gospels, but the other gospel said. The only way that he can steal it, I'm paraphrasing it, mm -hmm. is because you don't have understanding. Yes. Where we're going tonight yes. will tell you what you need to do when yes. that word comes so that the enemy steal it. Because the only way that he can steal it is because you, you don't understand, understand it. Because right. when you have understanding, yes. um, he can't steal Man. that word and say, oh, no, I understand this. Because remember, mm -hmm. we've said that uh, a few nights ago, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all you're yeah, getting, yeah, get yes. understanding. Yes. And so when you get understanding, even yes. though he will try to come and steal that word, he uh, will not be able to no. because you understand that I'm not going to give place to right. the devil in my mind Pull and in my thinking. Guns. That's right. Pull out your guns on it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bam. <laughs> By the blood of Jesus. 
Bam, he just got two barrels on him yes. right there. Reload. Reload. Right. Don't, don't just look at him while he's hurting. Reload again and go ahead and put it back on him, all right? So in Joshua chapter 1, all right, uh, my wife's going to read this, and then we're going to talk about God's instructions, what we need to see. Right. You can read as much as you want to. I mean, I didn't know what yeah. This book of Joshua chapter 1, I'm starting with verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according yep. to all that is written therein. Yep. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, yes, and then thou shalt have good success. And then he said in verse 9, Have not I commanded thee, That's right. be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, mm -hmm. neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. So knowing that, you yes. don't have to be afraid. That's right. Now you notice that the Lord said, have not I commanded you? All right. So this is a, a direct instruction given to Joshua that guess what? Don't waste time. Stay in my word day and night. That's how you're going to be strong. All right. Don't waste time. Don't just choose one and say, well, you know, I read two scriptures yesterday. You have, then you go a whole day and whatever. The, 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 the lesson tonight is using your time because time is most important to all of us. Okay? Time is most important. All right? One of the, one of the things, and you can, you can take a note on this one. All right? Scripture always proves. Always has proof from Genesis all the way through Revelation, okay? That you cannot waste time, okay, without injuring your eternity, mm. all right? You cannot waste time here without injuring. Some people lose eternity, but I'm talking to you guys tonight who are believers. This is the year of the believer. Mm -hmm. And so you can injure your eternity by wasting time now, Okay? By things that you should be involved in, accomplishing, saying, working out, whatever. God's looking for fruit. Remember last night I said he's not, he's not teaching us to be successful world people. He's teaching us to be faithful kingdom people. Okay? And so you can injure your eternity by wasting time. Now. That's why so much scripture is given about time. Jesus talked about time. He talked about the, 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 the rich man and the poor man, you know, Lazarus, the poor man, and, and you know how the rich man wasted his time. He threw away his whole eternity, okay? Threw it away. Why? Because he did not prioritize his time toward God, okay? He prioritized his time toward himself, all right? And, and the Lord here is saying, have not I commanded thee, all right? Day and night, that means don't waste time. Make it a priority to use your time very wisely. Make it every day, every night. Spend the priorities in life that, that give glory to God. Remember the scriptures we've been using almost every, every night, talking about everything that we do, we do it as unto the Lord, mm -hmm. and we do the things, as Peter said, to bring glory to God through Christ Jesus, okay? Yes. And so God is saying this. This is a command. Have not I commanded thee that's, that's straight. You can't get any straighter than that. Have not I commanded thee, meditate in my word day in and night. Daytime and nighttime. That's Don't waste any time. There is no time in between. Daytime and nighttime, okay? One follows the other one and they follow the other one and the other one follows the other one and the other one leads the other one. On every moment of our seasons of life, okay? So this is a command. We have to get... Uh, order in our time because a lot of time is thrown away doing nothing and you should be investing in yourself you know one of the things uh, we were in a, a Billy Graham's uh, a meeting uh, back a while ago a couple of months ago and one of the things yeah one of the things that they said that he did he had a Bible in every room throughout his house and uh, the guy that was interviewing him noticed that he had a Bible everywhere and he asked him, he says, so I noticed that you have a Bible every, in every room. And he read, I 
pick up the Bible and I'll read things in Psalms and I'll read things in Proverbs, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, because it was a part of his life. He didn't waste his time. Nothing. You know, you know, he did a lot of things doing You know, and there were certain things that he said he did that I'm not saying here, but our thing with you tonight is make a priority. Mm -hmm. Right? And there are going to be some, as we already know from scriptures, that are not going to be rewarded because of the way they live. See, they're injuring their eternity, okay? So we don't want to we don't want to be like that. We want to make sure we use our time, okay? Now I know you guys got that because you guys are very smart, you're very wise, you're very understanding, and you're reaching you're on out. The live stream, you're That's right. This, so That's right. You're reaching you out. You. So, so now when we talk about Bible time, we're talking about you know the realm of humanity all the time uh, under heaven. But when we talk about your personal time, we're talking about seasons that are measurable, okay? Measurable seasons, okay? When certain things happen in your life, in season, out of season. Uh, some people are going into winter time when I, when I talk about personal seasons. And some people are going into harvest times mm -hmm. when your personal season. Okay? So That's right. Some people are Based on what we use now, okay? Even when we come back and reign and rule with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, and uh, every every award that's going to be handed out to, to believers. So, so take this at heart tonight and uh, don't waste time. Don't injure your eternity, okay? Time wisely. All right. So let's go to, yes, use your time wisely. Because again, you're getting... You're the one that says you're willing to become better to help others. And, and time wasters don't help people. Okay? They cripple people. So we want to make sure. Now, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastics. Uh, you know where we're going. Come on now. That's right. Follow us. Ecclesiastics chapter 3. All right? Ecclesiastics chapter 3. All right. Where are we starting? Verse 1. You want to read verse 1 down to 11? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, go with us now. This is good for you. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yes. A time to be born and a time to die. Yes. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. Mm -hmm. A time to break down and a time to build up. A yes. time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and yes. a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, yes. a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit has he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God has given to the sons of men to be ex exercised in it. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Amen. So Amen. we see how important time is. Time actually... Okay, uh, from Ecclesiastes, times and seasons launch every purpose. Okay, please get this, right? Because if I waste time, I could be spending the time that would launch my next season of influence. Okay, this is what I was saying about injuring your 
eternity, all right? Time again, time and seasons, okay? They launch every purpose and activity, whether spiritual or physical, in the earth's realm, okay? Because this is where you and I live, all right? We are seated, positionally, we are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly yes, places. Yes. But we live here on the earth. We get our inspiration, instructions, our power, all these things flow out of heaven through the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ to the governor of the church who is the Holy Spirit, who is watching over us and growing us, he's shaping us, he's sanctifying us. And in all of this getting, what's going on is that seasons of activity and purpose are taking place in us. He's shaping us, all right, for seasons that you and I don't even know about yet. There are activities that we are going to be involved in that we haven't even heard about yet, okay? He's but he's shaping us, okay? He's shaping us through time and through seasons, okay? And so when he, as he shapes us, okay, we have to, we have to be willing, okay? We said, okay, we are more than willing, okay? More than willing to get better so that we can help others. So see, a lot of the shaping that's going on in your life, you know, it's not all about you. It's about the people you're going to meet in your seasons. It's about the activity that you will be involved in in the future that you don't even know about right now. That's right. You don't even understand that, that there are faces that God are going to bring to you that you have not met. You don't even know what they look like. There are people that have voices that you have not even heard yet. There are people that, guess what? Your voice will open their ear to the things of God. Your voice. Okay, because of the way the Holy Spirit is shaping your life and bringing you to a place, okay, where you're going to be the person that speaks and things happen. Jesus is the only one that I know that knows where the ear of the wind is. <laughs> That's the truth. Because we have never seen the wind. That's right. We see the results. That's right. But, but we've he never spoke seen to it. The wind. And the wind heard him, which means that the wind has an ear. The waves have an ear. Everything has an ear. Okay? And, 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 and because we're the sons of Almighty God, and the Holy Spirit is shaping us, okay, according to the Word of God, Amen. you and I have a voice that will be spoken, used, will be, uh, uh, I would say, blasted out from our life by the Holy Spirit because there's a sound that's going on over the earth. So, there's a trumpet from our lives that's speaking that there are people that have a certain ear that's going to hear. This is why you can't waste time on stuff that don't matter to the kingdom of God. When God is giving you, and especially we're going through these 31 nights like this, especially when God is engraving this time in you to shape you even more and to bring you to these seasons and times, he's placed eternity in your heart. So you got to know that guess what? There's more than just what's going on around you. So he's placed eternity for you to speak things that have eternal value. Amen. This is why, again, I say that the seasons, all right, time and seasons launch every purpose and activity, whether spiritual or physical, okay? Because we have our physical needs. There are people that are listening to you, but we also have those spiritual needs. And there are people that God has designed for you. Again, you haven't heard them. You haven't seen them. You don't know their shapes yet. But it's not based on them right now because God's shaping them also. He's shaping you so that you don't waste your time just as much as he's shaping them through someone else speaking to them somewhere that That's they right. don't waste their That's time. Right. Right. Then when That's two right. of us get together that aren't time wasters, what a time. We go, you got it. What she says, what a, what time. a time. When two of us get together, all right, and come into agreement that That's don't right. waste time, we got we got it going on, just like my wife what said. A what a time. All right. <laughs> what a time. We make things happen. Okay. Yes. We make things happen. All right. So come on, go with me to Romans chapter, Romans chapter eight. We'll jump all the way down to Romans chapter eight. Yes. Romans chapter eight. Okay. Romans chapter eight. We'll give you a five, four, three, two, one. Okay. You ought to be there by now. All right. Uh, verse 14. All right. 
for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Are there many? <sighs> I hear you praising God out there. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. What are they? They are the sons of God. Who? Daughters of God. Who? Yes. What? You, God's forever family. Yes. He doesn't have grandchildren. All right? He has sons and daughters. Okay? Amen. God has sons and daughters. Okay? The, the, the purpose of this scripture here is to let you and I know. All right? Mm. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Where are you going? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they are, are the, the sons. sons I know God. what it says. They are the sons of God. Okay? In other words, the leading by the Spirit of God. Tells you and I that there is a pace that we take following him. Okay? He's the one who sets the pace. Those that are led by the Spirit of God. He's the one. If I was if I was at the church on the floor, I would be walking there, I would show you this. He's the one who sets the pace. And as he's setting the pace, you and I are following. Amen. Okay? So this. Is an important lesson tonight because pace simply means time frame. There's a time he's moving to the left or the right. He could be moving fast. He could be moving very slow. He could be standing there looking at us, telling, come on, take these steps. You know, I'll wait for you. But he's the one who sets the pace. Amen. And you're the one, and I'm the one, and all of the believers this year who are, you know, going to run with this thing about being the, this is the year of the believer. You know, you're going to have your banks transformed into greater things. You're going to have your life. In fact, I, I got some stuff here. All of this comes out of, of, of something I wrote years ago. Transform bank accounts because those that are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. All right. Transform bodies. Need that, need that healthy body. Transform relationships. Need things fixed in relationships and whatever. You know, transform global influence. This is what is happening right now. You know, all these countries and these nations that watch us and view us on these live streams, things are transforming in those nations, okay? And this is a year for all of this, okay? God is doing these particulars because, again, the Holy Spirit is setting the pace for revelation knowledge and for spiritual instructions to come. And, and we are the ones, believers, we are the ones that are following him. We're being led by him. See, seasons again and times, okay? Again, they bring forth and they cause the activities and the purposes of the kingdom of God to take place in our lives. See, and so it's most important, we don't waste time. Amen. Okay? We don't throw away time. That's well, right. I don't have anything to do. <clears throat> I got, yes, there's always something to do. You can go park in a shopping mall and just pray for everybody that you see getting out of the cars. Mm -hmm. There's always something to do. You That's can get up and right. ride down the road, you know, and uh, you can pass by people and say, Lord, you know, I'm praying. I'm going north. They're going south. But everybody that's going south today while I'm going north, I'm praying for their families. I want you to touch Amen. their families. There's always something that Amen. you can do, okay? Always something. Without this sitting, well, I don't have anything to do. Oh, well, you got a plenty of time to do. But again, we're here tonight, and I'm here to help you through the spirit of through the spirit of, of, of knowledge, okay, is to help you tonight to understand we do not we do not need people, okay, that are time wasters in our lives, holding on to us, pulling us, got us doing stuff, you know, that we shouldn't even be involved in because, because we, we want to go this way. But again, immediately he comes to steal the word, snatch the word that was on your heart by breaking your focus and causing you to go other places, and then you know how it is after a while. Things that you have gotten, you let them slip mm -hmm. because you don't use them. Mm -hmm. You don't use them. Don't, do don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. All right? Don't want to do that. You know, I was I was listening to what you were saying, and, and I was looking at Romans 8. The 8th it's, chapter it's, of Romans is such powerful. a powerful chapter, yes, it too, is. to read. If you ought to just well, read the whole chapter. <laughs> but I just want to read something just because I'm excited. Yes. I was reading. I heard him say, <laughs> about children. Yes. God does not have grandchildren. <laughs> now I'm going to read verses 14 again through 17. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, yes. they are the sons of God. They are the daughters of God. So yes. if you're Spirit-led out there, you know if, yep. you're, you're, or if you're led it's by the, the spirit, spirit, you're the Son of God. For you have not received mm -mm. the Spirit of bondage again to fear, no. but you have received the Spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Daddy God. But listen to this. 
The Spirit itself bears yes. witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Remember, he mm -hmm. said, God has no grandchildren. <laughs> and if children say, hey, I'm a child of I'm God. A child. Mm -hmm. If children, then heirs of God. Put your party head on. That's Woo! right. And not just an heir of God, but your joint heir with, with Christ, Christ, who's our elder brother. Yes. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be, be glorified, glorified together. Yeah. So it's that's powerful. Read the eighth chapter of Romans yes. in the spirit of time. And I believe it will truly bless you. Oh, yes. Because it it's shows all. you who you are, part yes. of who you are. Yep. Join ears with Christ Jesus. Yes, it doesn't you know, get any better than that. You know, he's the elder brother. Yes. You know, you know the one who is... And we've the, been adopted. The, <laughs> Spirit of we have, adoption. We have, we have divine rights. Okay. All right. Yes. Divine rights. Yes. When I say divine rights, it's, oh, like, the, it's hmm. like the caterpillar. My Lord. Right. When does the caterpillar want to become the butterfly? All right. When does he want to become the butterfly? When he gets tired of the caterpillar life. Come on. <laughs> he wants to fly. You have to be tired of the old life in order to have a new life. To embrace it, yes. That's right. And so change and time takes its experience and puts it on you. So that now transformation takes place. All right? Amen. So time is most important. What happens if the caterpillar would say, Well, I'll just wait until next year, you know, when the next the next group of caterpillars come, you know, <laughs> whatever, and uh I'll just wait until, you know, uh, a whole group of us, we can we can sort of work on this together. What what would happen? <laughs> he probably wouldn't time, make it because you get that spray and he, begin again, to shoot those guys. He would wasting his time would guess what? Cause him to waste his destiny. Right? Wasting his time. That's right. You know, would cause him to waste his destiny. This is why it's so important. You know, we I mean, I know we're talking about something that probably people don't think about a whole lot, but it's something you use every day. It's just like the air that you breathe. You every use day. it every day. We, we use you know? it right now. We every know. second. And you don't and you don't throw your air away, do you? No, you no, don't. No, you don't. Time. Okay. You don't throw the air that you're breathing away. So so why waste the time? We we want to make sure that you're getting the most out of these lessons. Amen. You know? And this is why we we say these things, because we know how easy it is to have certain things, gain certain things, and then because we don't put them into practice. We lose those things. And maybe we have knowledge of it, but we're not using it. Be you know, not just we're not, we have knowledge of certain things, but we're not putting it into play. And putting it into play constantly, as we said, you know, some lessons earlier, it builds the house. Mm -hmm. You know, everything in the house don't necessarily have to come from contractors. How about you? What do you value You know, the things that you, right. that's right, that's the things true. that you, when you walk around your house, you say, you know, some of that house is brand new, it's empty, or maybe it's not brand new, maybe you just purchased it from somebody else, but it's your it's house, you like it. You. That's right, mm -hmm. it's a new season for you, that's, okay? That's and so when about. you walk into that house, do you just leave it empty because, you know, somebody came in and fixed a drywall patch over there, or did this over there, or do you look at that house and say, you know something, I can put that in that corner over there, mm -hmm. and I got, a, I got an idea to put this over there, this is gonna look good. Oh, let's put some pictures on the wall over here, Let's leave this one over here for this and that. You, you start getting creative. Why? Because it's your house. That's right. Okay? So this is what we're saying. Time belongs to you. And you need to use it for your house. You know, not, not just, you know, telling everybody else, well, you know, you need to do this, you need to do it. No, 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 no. You need to use it for your house. Okay? Because, again, you're part, you're part owner of your house. Okay? You're part owner. God owns the most, but you own God part of it too. It, but we, okay, we but he—that's right. So he looks at you as there's an account for how you're taking care of your life. All right. Because he's the one that bless you right. and be able to use it to have it. Yes. Because every the earth is the Lord's and the fullness, fullness of the earth thereof. And they that dwell therein. So Amen. everything belongs to him. Yes. But he allows us to use it. Yes. Now let's go to uh, the book of Haggai. Ah, Haggai, not Haggai. Hey guy. <laughs> Not hey guy. <laughs> all right, hey guy. Chapter one. All right. Oh, uh, this is uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use uh 
uh, I, I would say verse 3 and verse 4 for right now. Uh, because again, this is talking about time. Okay. And uh, we could go to the New Testament, some things that are spoken about time. The time is at hand. Uh, the kingdom of God is here. You should recognize that this is the right time. Jesus said, well, you can discern the sky and all this, but you don't know what time it is mm -hmm. and all this. Time. There are a lot of scriptures that talk about time, okay? All through the word of God, the sons of Issachar, they knew the times and all that. A lot of things about time, okay? But I'm using these because these are the ones the Holy Spirit gave me to use with Amen. you guys to bring you to a place because maybe you already know those. And again, you're letting them slip. Well, this is just to come to put a new coat of paint on the house. You know, like you guys do with your fingernails. You know, ladies, y'all don't like the same coat to stay on there too long. No, y'all like a new coat, right? <laughs> That's right. You're taking care of the house, okay? So this is what we're doing tonight. We are Again, we're, we're investing into uh, how you're going to appear, all right? And using time wisely before the Lord. And hey, guy, uh, chapter one is only two chapters. It says this. Then came the word of the Lord by Hagar the prophet, saying, is it time for you, O oh you, to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lie waste? All right? Now, when you read this tonight, and I'm sure you will, when you read all of this about how they sowed, you know, and they bought it little, they ate, they eat, they didn't have enough and all this. God was saying that because your priorities are not right, mm -hmm. right? Your, your priorities, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this the way he gave it to me. They were not using their time on God's priorities. Mm. They were using their time on their priorities. When God says, my house lie waste, he's not just talking about the structure, mm -hmm. the <clears throat> physical structure of a house. All right? He's talking about the totality of the intention of his house. Okay? Mm, that's good. The intention of his house. You're allowing the intention of my house because my house represents a lot of things, not just a structure. That's right. All right? But it represents many things to many people. And he was saying that they had taken the pri their priorities, okay? Time was given to their priorities and not time to God's priority. That's right. All right? They came back to rebuild, mm -hmm. okay? And when they came back to rebuild God's house, they were putting their time in on their own houses, okay? This is not just about, you know, well, we're going to build a house of God so everybody can come. No, this is about the intention of the gift, okay? So you have to always understand a gift has an intention. And the intention of God's house was that people would come and worship him. As Jesus said, my house shall be called the house of prayer mm. for all nations. all nations. So people were to come and pray. People were to get healed. When Jesus went in and, and you know, made that cord, that cord and whipped everybody, ran everybody out that was selling or whatever, it says after he cleaned the house, he says, then the people came and he says the lame were healed, the blind were healed. He says the children were in there weeping and crying and doing, saying Hosanna, all kinds of things going in the house of God. All right. And God was telling these people here, he says, you came back. I bought you out of captivity, bought you mm -hmm. back here. All right to establish my house, and you are taking my priority time of fixing, setting up so that the nations will know who I am, and you're spending it on you. Mm. You're spending all your time on you. And he says, because you're spending your time on you, he says, look what you're getting. He so says, you're so much, you bring in a little. He says, you eat, you don't even have enough. You drink, but you're not filled with drink. He says, you clothe you and there's none warm. And he says, and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. Mm. In other words, they were living under a curse. Mm -hmm. They were not living under the providence of God. Why? Because again, God said they were using their time on, on using, you not using their time on his priorities. All right? And this is what we're saying. When we're sharing all of these particular things with you guys, it's God's priority that you know because he's shaping you. And the more you know about him shaping you, guess what? The easier it is for your will to allow him to shape you. Okay? The more you know what he's wanting to do with you, the more you're going to yield your will and submit yourself to allow him to shape you. Okay? 
You want to be better so that you can help people? Well, now you know. We're sharing things with you to how to help you to be better so that, guess what? You can help people. Mm-hmm. It's shaping you, see? And and a time wasting time is something that all of us are probably guilty of in some, some areas okay. in life, mm-hmm. okay? But we have to make sure that we prioritize our time so that we're not using our time and it's throwing away the priorities of God's interest in our lives, okay? When you study, that's a priority. You're given time to understanding, getting knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, right? As the Lord said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge, okay? Mm-hmm. And because you reject, reject knowledge, knowledge, I'll even reject your children. You and your children. Yeah. Yes. See, so, so it's most important we don't waste time. Bring your children up. You know, I used to come home sometimes, you know, because I worked at night most of the years that I was in, in, in Southland Corporation. And my wife would be laying in the bed in the mornings. The kids would come in. She'd reach over there and pray over them. I knew she was half sleeping, but she had that prayer there. She prayed over them every morning before they went out into that world. Okay? She covered them with the Word of God. It was a priority that the kids go out because you're going out there with kids that are coming from every kind of knowledge. You know? And you're putting your kids in the midst of all of that. You know, your godly kids that you say God gave you and you're going to raise them up and you put them in the midst of that. At that time, we didn't know a whole lot about that, but we know now. We knew that. All right, we knew, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so so it's a priority to spend your time wisely. Cover your kids, you know, pray for everything that you own. Cover, spend time thanking God every day for his faithfulness and keeping you and your family and people. And even though people are perishing, we're being shaped for a new world. We're not being shaped for this world. You know, who would want to stay here and all this stuff that's going on here, you know, and and live for eternity and this stuff? Nobody wants to do that, okay? Mm -hmm. But God has promised us. So let's spend the time and prioritize our time toward functioning to increase the kingdom of God that God has given us the time to do, okay? Now we go to, you ready to say something? Okay, we go to uh, chapter 2, okay, verse 18. Only two chapters, the book of Haggai, okay? Now, in in verse 18, chapter 2, these people turn from their ways, and they, and they followed the obedience of God, and they did the thing. They went up to the mountains, it says, they bought the wood, they did everything, they started bringing the intentions of the house of God back to people, okay? Have to, have have to always accept the intentions of the gift when it's given, Okay? If somebody gave you a dollar, if that's all they had, accept the intentions of the gift. Amen. If they bought you a brand new house, $5 million, accept the intention of the gift, okay? And so they build the house, they redo everything, they're getting everything in order, and God says, and then he shows up and he says, consider now from, from this day and upward, mm-hmm. all right? He reversed everything that was going against him. He reversed Because, the curse. that's right, he reversed <laughs> the curse because... They began to take their time and put it into the priorities of God. They were using their time wisely. When they were using their time, you know, uh, against the things of God, they were under a curse. But now we see everything now, this is the way he gave it to me. He says, everything became equal to their need. When everything got reversed, everything in our life became equal to their need. In other words, if a need ar- ar- arose, guess what? God had a supply to take care of it, no matter what it was, okay? And that's the thing about spending time wisely in the priority and the things of God. Jesus said it like this in in, uh, Matthew chapter 6, 630. What? You know you love this one. Matthew 6, what? 33. 33. Seek ye first. first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness, his way of doing things. That's time. Yes. That's time. Everything that Spend you have time. need of will be added unto you. Right. But righteousness means his way of That's doing right. things. That's right. His way of doing things. Time. That's yeah. right. Talking about time. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. All right. And this is what happened over here in the book of Haggai. Because they prioritized their time rightly toward God, then guess what? God began to prioritize the supplies and things that they needed for their life. You know, and he reversed the curse that was coming against them, and he brought it to the point that whatever the need is, a supply will come to take care of that need, regardless of who had the need. This is the way 
Our daily God lives and he desires for us to be. All right? You know what, Apostle, that's why it's important uh, to, to praise the Lord, to worship the yep. Lord, to give time to the Lord in prayer, but just to just even for your for your own edification, so that you can be strong in the Lord. It is so important to spend time when the times are good, because bad times do come. But don't wait until the times get bad, uh. and then you go before the Lord mm. and you you wonder why things are not happening as fast as you want them to happen. Because in the good times, you thought that you could do it yourself. You thought you were doing it yourself. But then when the bad times come, that's when you want oh, to say, yeah. oh, God, oh, would you do Lord. this? But we should worship God and praise God and be joyful in the Lord at all times. That's what the psalmist said. David said that he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise Nature. shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. And, and the Living Translation says, David said, I will praise the Lord no matter what happens. So things happen, but if we would keep our joy, if we would keep praising God, even when those bad times come, you won't realize they're bad because you're praising uh, God. Uh, and the joy of the Lord has Goshen. become your strength. You and Goshen. So <laughs> even those times that are not so bad, you know how to praise God. And you praise Him when the times were good. And even Amen. if the times are not so good, you still praise Him. So whatever we do, Psalm 34, 1 should be... Um, a rhema to all of us, and it should be a part of all of our lives. I will praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Even all with all the things that's going on today, people are fearful and all oh, mercy. Things. We need to bless the Lord at all times so that his praise can continually be in our mouth so that we can um, edify people so that they there can be go. lifted up. Because if we're down, how are we going to help this lost that's and dying right. world? So it's so, so just it's, it's important. So gaining and using the strategies of time that God gives us carries us to a place of exactness. Okay, it's God's timetable for His chosen people. That's you. This is a year of the believer. Amen. Again, Amen. again, gaining and using the strategies of God's time. Okay, God was always on. Well, the Lord Jesus was always on the Pharisees, whatever, because they. He thought they knew everything, and he was saying, they always asked him for a sign. And he was letting them know, the sign is standing here before you. <laughs> the time the time to change things is right here before you. The time to accept things is standing right here before you. But you're so blind that you can't see the time, right? Gaining and using the strategies of God's time carries us to a place of exactness, okay? And he always does that for his chosen people. Okay, he always does that. So study scriptures on, on time. Uh, again, as we say tonight, use your time wisely. Okay, uh, we've got, you know, probably two more weeks to, uh, to bring forth things to you guys. To, uh, for those of you that say you, you're willing to do anything to become better so that you can help others. And this is to help you, uh, you know, whether you're already here, it just helps you get more. Whether you're not here, can get better. that's right. <laughs> it can always bring you up. Okay, mm -hmm. He's the lifter up of our heads. So, so we pray tonight that uh, the things that we've said, they'll challenge you. Uh, they will also inspire you and encourage you, but they will edify you. Amen. That's what we want, to build that house, that inner man, to the place where you are a strong uh, Christian that can influence the world because God needs you in this time. He needs you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You want to close this up tonight, or you got? Uh, no, you, it's the year of the believer. Year of the believer. All right. Like, right. So we'll say this again, as we always do. We call you blessed. We call your banks transformed Don't to that increase. Money needs to keep rising. That's right. Rule. <laughs> Rule. Okay. That's right. We call your banks and all of the things that you set your hands to do to have reimbursements and paybacks. Yes. We call reversal against things that have taken place in your life that maybe you thought that that dream was dead or that dream was gone. And we believe that the power of God, because he is the resurrection and the life, yes, he is. will give life to that dream uh, and bring that thing to account in your life so that your time that you've prayed, you've sown, you've given service, you've lived before the Lord, you've cried in worship and praised the yes. Lord God, you've honored and respected the throne and the kingdom of Almighty God, and we believe that right along with you and your families and everybody else that's around you, yes, that the power of God's increase Hallelujah. will favor you to the place that you'll be like Sarah. The Lord has made me laugh. Uh -huh. 
and those who hear will, will laugh, laugh with, me. with me. Yes. In Jesus' name. It's time Amen. To have some joy. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow night. Keep that joy going. Amen. God Amen. Bless you. Good night, everybody. Hallelujah.